Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at physics settings for clothing and hair with your CC4 characters in Unity. We'll explore weight maps and collision shapes in CC4, followed by importing the character into Unity and refining those settings with auto setup. Let's start off with our character in CC4. As you can see, she has a skirt and hair, both assigned with soft body physics. Let's examine the skirt first by going into the physics tab and taking a look at the weight map. You can see it's a simple monochromatic gradient with lower white area influenced by physics while the black part is not influenced by physics at all. The same goes for the hair, although due to the various strands, the weight map here is a bit more complex. There are other settings that affect physics performance as well in the property section. You can learn more about these parameters in our other various soft body physics tutorials. You'll also want to be familiar with collision shapes, which are invisible rigid body meshes assigned to prevent collision with the actual character mesh. These normally encompass the rigid mesh they are protecting and you can assign different bound types and fully customize the size, rotation and scale. These collision shapes will be exported into Unity. Ok, let's proceed to export our character using the Unity Target Tool preset with Mesh and Motion selected. I'll choose the current animation and for Unity we don't want to have the first frame in bind pose since Unity Auto Setup will create a T pose automatically. Delete hidden faces to save resources and avoid mesh breakage and use subdivided mesh for a smoother character mesh. In Unity, go up to import your character from the Reillusion menu. Please check out the installation tutorial for auto setup if you don't have it installed yet. In the import options, we want to select Refractive Eyes and Feature Everything, which will include our cloth and hair physics. Then proceed to hit Build Materials. Once it's finished, you can drag a prefab to the hierarchy and preview the initial results. If you want to refine the collision shapes, you can do so by accessing the Collider Manager component attached to the character. Turn on Gizmos to get a look at the collision shapes imported from CC4 in the viewport. You can adjust the parameters for each collision shape individually in the Adjust Colliders section. The symmetrical checkbox will allow you to do this individually or both sides simultaneously. Next, let's take a look at the Weight Mapper. Auto Setup will automatically detect all of the soft body meshes that were imported, in this case the skirt and two hair components. Let's look at the skirt first. Once loaded up, you'll see it appear in the viewport with relevant collision shapes, and we can click on the Edit Cloth Constraints button to show us a colorful gradient that is similar to our Weight Map in CC4. In Unity, the red colored area isn't affected by physics at all, Whereas if we go down to green, physics will have a gradually increasing effect on the mesh. You'll also see a weight mapper component in the inspector, and we can load up the original monochromatic weight map from CC4 in the weight map parameter. There are three main options for weight map adjustments in Unity. Power affects the contrast of the map, affecting constraint distribution, while offset affects map brightness changing overall constraint values. Finally, scale determines the range affected by the map. If you adjust these, you can hit Rebuild Constraints to see the results. There are a bunch of other options for controlling physics performance which also appear in CC4. You can adjust them in either program. After our change, you'll see that we have a line of constraint points second from the bottom on the skirt that are yellow, which will cause an odd physics result. Generally in this case we'd want to make sure that they are all green, so I'll select the bottom few rows and proceed to change the max distance value, which you can see is on a scale from 0 to 0 0.137, and represents the max physics effect. If I want them to be totally green, then I need to enter in the max value here. Same goes for surface penetration, 
which dictates the actual amount of physics effect. I'll max this out as well at 0.068. On the left is the result if we didn't make this adjustment, and on the right is where we entered in the max values to fix it. Ok, let's go back to the Collider Manager and take a quick look at the hair. The side part wavy item represents the scalp which doesn't have any physics values here, so I'll select the side part wavy extracted one mesh and again go into edit cloth constraints. You can see that the weight constraints appear on the hair, noticeably more complex than we had for the skirt as there are more strands and individual moving parts to deal with. The original weight map from CC4 can be found in the same place, and you can also play around with the various settings as we did with the skirt. You can also edit the collision shapes live while in game mode. As the animation is looping, we can go to the scene tab and focus on the skirt. Here I'm adjusting the radius of one of the thigh capsules so we can see the bulging effect on the skirt in the viewport. Save settings will save your adjustments. The same goes with the weight map values. If any of these are adjusted in runtime, ensure that you rebuild constraints and then save settings to maintain those changes. However, when we exit game mode, you'll notice that those values go back to the originals. Here we simply need to hit Recall Settings to restore the values we adjusted in game mode. The same goes for the Collider Manager. Simply hit Recall Settings to restore those adjustments that we made earlier. That's it for this video on physics customization using Auto Setup in Unity. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.